Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to some Dyson Sphere program. Uh, in our last episode, we were working on getting our purple cube production back in order, and look at that. It is now running again. So we had a severe lack of our uh, quantum chips. And if I look down here, I was just fixing a couple of our supply chains, but uh, I think it was uh, this one maybe? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. Okay. So you can see here it's up to uh, 1700. I, I don't remember what quantity it hits before it starts shipping. But uh, I think uh, maybe it's 2000. Uh, if that's the case, I mean, we're probably going to see this thing jump out here, drop down here in just a second. And look at that. We just got another 2.4 gigajoules in our core. We're up to 8. Man, I'm going to have to really work on this battery because I don't think this is... Uh, we might have to get to uh, antimatter here soon. <laughs> but uh, see, what's this one here? Construction drones. Going to make them faster. Uh, give us some fuel power. Uh, faster construction. Uh, better ray efficiency. Get us better... Uh, Better consumption off of our Dyson Sphere. Got it, got it. And then we get into this, we can get our capacities going. So some vein and some drone and flight speed, which we definitely need a bunch of that to make these things almost... We can probably get this thing to where it's almost instant to ship these things. Um, let's see. Yep, and there we go. See, it just dropped down a nice chunk. So that's going to start doing its thing. And uh, we'll let it do its thing. So one of the things I had to do was get some uh, extra uh, quartz or silicone in here because we just didn't have the uh, the capacity on this planet to be able, be able to keep it running. So we have this guy here. The Casimir Crystal is now running. It's you know it's gonna fill up, so that's good. Uh, the hydrogen, obviously it's going to be consuming a ton of that, so... Alright, so we're ke everything's keeping up, it looks like, for now. Um, I did not save any of these off as blueprints, which I probably should. Uh, so let me come over here, let's, let's come over here, we'll just start over here, um, so that way I don't have to kind of go through the whole copy-paste thing again. Because for the most part, it looks like they are working as long as we have the supply. So this is the plane filter, right? Yeah, plane filter. All right, so let's, um, yeah. CPUs, microcrystalline. So, yep, yep. Let's just go ahead and get some of these clipped off. It'll only take a quick second here just to kind of... Oh, no, no, too far. Let's do right there. Don't want to include the power towers from the other thing, so. Plane filter. Plane filter. And save. All right, so what I want to do, because, and let's see. Uh, Let's come in here and escape and we're gonna do another create so we just did the plane filter which one is this one this is the CPU uh, just call it the processor <laughs> I just call it the CPU save Okay, and then let's see, what's the next one we need? Uh, we need... This is the microcrystalline component. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Blueprint. I mean, it looks like I can maybe add to some of the other blueprints as time goes by. Alright, there we go. 
Micro crystal. And let's go ahead and do that and say this guy. Save. Okay, so then that's a couple of them. And then we have a couple over here. So the quantum CPU, definitely want that one. Quantum CPU. Yeah, the main thing is, since we are trying to get into this in-game state, most of our focus is going to be on production for either the Dyson Sphere itself, antimatter, or the uh, uh, just stuff for the research. That's really all it is. Once you start getting here into the end game, so and that's mainly just due to the fact that well, you've kind of got everything, so probably should just call it pink crystal. I can never spell that Casimir right. Let's do Casimir. I'm gonna change that to pink crystal. Pink crystal, save. Okay, so that gets us some of our production chain here, it looks like. So that gives us... Oh, that was for the green cube. That's right. It was green cube that needed that. So but we need to work on getting, you know, like the graviton lenses. We need to work on getting all of the different pieces, particle broadbands and all these things. We want to make sure everything that we need for all these research cubes so we can get white cubes is in place into an nth degree so that way these things will just crank through as fast as possible so now that that fixed our our green cube production for now and I do say for now because it's not quite you know the end of the end of the story here so let's um Let's come up here to our, this is our export tower, so uh, I also want to start exporting the things that we just manufactured so when we have backup it will you know, feed into the overall system. So, uh, so in this case we'll have CPUs and we can do microcrystalline, so we can do this and that. So like I said, as we have excess and then this one we can get our uh, circuit board that should give us the excess for that and then here we can do our pink casimir crystal and then we can do the plane filter now this one i'm not expecting to fill in because it's well it's using so much of it um, so much that we're probably going to go ahead and set up a second blueprint just to be able to keep up with our demand. So, because it, it's a slow producer. Um, so slow that, well, we can't even keep it going here. So, and that's because our titanium glass is running out. Which, you know, to be fair, our titanium glass production is being produced on this planet, but it's being produced by one of our really, really old blueprints so like here you, you can see we have some of the old glass we have some old titanium you know we have old stuff here and this little itty bitty guy right here is doing all of our little titanium glass production yeah and it needs you know it needs three ingredients which we can get so I think we need to go ahead and let's get this thing with one of the big boy blueprints. So we're going to reuse, since this is a three stack, we're going to come in here, we're going to reuse our super magnetic ring. And 
and we'll just come back over we'll come back over here and go bada boom and then let's go over there and get it set up so we can get this all set since this is our input stream here we're gonna go clear clear and clear okay now this is titanium glass so we need glass titanium and water so we need titanium water glass got it right so these are all gonna be in demand I'm just gonna let it do a full stack And then we'll come over here, we'll get this all set up. And this should give us a nice little buffer for our titanium glass here. harder to see when the colors of the icons are about the same as what you were replacing but uh, we get it all right and then we're gonna change this to titanium glass and supply and we good right yep we good okay let's go get this thing turned on Now, it's nice doing this on a world where we actually have our mall being produced, too. Um, because it keeps my stock filled, so I'm not having to constantly go refill. Now, this uh, which one uses the most? Oh, they're all the equal, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now this should get us, hopefully, a better output for this titanium glass because, well, now we got the super tier three production lines and we got three of them instead of just that measly one line that we had on our old stack. And it is filling it up. 900, 800s, 900. I mean, it's sucking it down about as fast as it's making it right now, which is fine, actually. The question is, is just making sure that if our inputs can keep up. And since it looks like we're full, the water might not keep up since we have to import water. But if we don't have a water chain set up in this solar system, that might be something we need to go do. Because we do have water on the second planet. I think it was this planet. No, yep, there it is, water. Okay. So it could be going off to another solar system to get our water. So we might need to fix that and uh, go see about coming here so let's uh let's go do that since we haven't actually i don't know if we've actually been to that world yet and i'm trying to set this whole solar system up to be one of my principal factory worlds here um i do need to set up uh make sure we have some stuff pulling down the exotic particles for our dyson sphere Let's get going faster. Come on. 
sail speed. I wonder if one of these these uh, things will let us go sail speed faster. But yeah, we'll come over here. Like I said, I don't think we've been here to this planet yet. Um, so we probably need to set up a few things for some infrastructure, but we can get water pumping out. Um, which should allow us to keep that running a little better, a little more cleanly. And faster, because it won't have to go so far to get it. Kapow! Yeah, we have nothing here. <laughs> okay, so first off, uh, first order of business. Um, I don't have enough stuff. <laughs> go figure. Okay, well, let's get our, um, our tower set up first here. Is there anything in the way? Kind of in the way. That might be okay. Nope. All right. Uh, we might have water. Let's try the other pole. How's that one? Okay. We're going to have to go fill in some water. Uh, let's go do that. Let's do this just so I can see where we're going. All right, so we need some foundations. Let's go with a uh, let's go with a light green, yeah. Let's get all of this good stuff here. Hopefully I got enough foundation to do this, but we'll, uh... Alright, that might be enough. Let's see if we can't get our pole towers down now. Uh... Okay, yeah, need foundation support. It's because of the... Because of that tower, um, our yeah, let's just do that. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, you know what? I have these guys. Let's see if we can't um, go kapow. Um, how does this work? Or does it need power first? Satisfaction off. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, I don't have any blue towers left, I guess. Fun. Okay, so I do need to drop a fusion power plant down too which means I need to see if we have a spot that it can go where there's not water. So there's a handful that won't get good down. That should be fine. Let's do that. And then I need to pull my fusion plants out of storage. usual. I need deuterium. Where are you? There you go. Let's do 4,000 uh, remote demand. There we go. Uh, why is it? Oh, shoot. It didn't. Um, there we go. Why is it sand insufficient? Okay. It's like I'm trying to give you Logi drones. What are you giving me a pay for? Gotta do it that or come on, autosave. I did it I did expand the autosave out to fifteen minutes, so hopefully 
won't be as intrusive. Okay, now we got all of our drones, so once that gets here, we'll be good to go, I guess. And I could take this and go... And there we go, we got power. Ah, oh, there we go, now it's uh, shot up into the air. I just need those to get here, so that way you don't run out of fuel. <laughs> okay, well, it's on the way. Okay, there we go. Now we got some. And there we go. Alright, now we should be good to go. Now... What we need is water, and we are going to local demand remote supply it, and we got all this water here, we don't even have to go far to get it. Uh, now do I have water extraction facilities? Uh, you know... It would really help if I actually thought some of this through, is what I'm going to say, because um, apparently I, I don't know how to think through what I'm doing here, because um, one, why did I put all of those there? Two, why did I not make sure I had some water before I, water towers before I came here? It's like, really? Okay, uh, well, what else do we got? We can... I know this planet has a lot of coal. Some silicone. What else does it have here? Very little copper. Silicone, plenty. Stone some. Lots of coal. We definitely want all that coal. And yeah, it's got some uh, organic crystals. We can also set up some crude oil. Because we do need to get some plastic made here at some point. Uh, because it looks like we're stalled out again. Um, what are we stalled out on? Let's do... Um, let's do 10 minutes. Let's come down here to our cubes. Uh, which one stopped? Is it our green cubes again? It's gotta be our green cube, just not keeping up. Okay, well... At least that's what it looks like, anyway. We'll have to... Might have to go back to home base and check it out at some point. Okay, so we got a bunch of coal. We got a bunch of other minerals. Um, but I need some more doodads. Um, although I could just say I don't need that doodad anymore. and do one of the newer doodads. What if I do that doodad and that doodad? Then everybody's happy with power. Okay, so let's, let's play with the new doodad instead. And let's get rid of this last one here that says I don't have. Okay, so let's uh, do our normal thing here. We're going to grab as much of these resources. Uh, copper, this is probably all the copper on the planet. <laughs> and then let's 
see. Will this actually be enough to power both of these? If I go boom. What's the range on this guy? Oh, nice. I like it. That is very, very nice. Okay. So since our main goal, well, I gotta get, I gotta get water pumps, but you know what? Let's just, let's just be bad. Let's just come, come on. Scroll on. Give me this. Come down here to buildings. Go to water pump. Give me a load of water pumps. Boom, it's going to bring me a whole stack. Okay. I do have some crude oil, so I can pop those down too. It's like, you know, I've noticed that I, I'm not really using the oil for much um, at all anymore. So I'm wondering if maybe they need to add some more recipes or things to use the crude oil. Up quite nicely, actually. Now I do need to set up a, uh, a harvesting tower for oil, though, which I'll need to set one up for water too. So let's uh, let's uh, set up a spot here. Set our tower. Do, 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 do. Let's just grab a couple out of the inventory. We're going to set our tower here. And we're going to set it up with crude oil and water. And give it some drones. Okay, now crude oil, water, all that stuff is going to take this stuff here so all right that gets us some crude oil That's, yep, that'll take care of that. And then we just gotta get our water pumps, which uh, I think should be here now. They are, so it's gonna go down there like this, and then we're gonna just grab a bunch. Okay. Now, water! Okay, so that's going to get us a bunch of water. Let's get us a power. Doohickey. Boom, boom. Alright, now. The fun part. Getting this all tied in. So we're going to go 
Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's about halfway, about right here. So this will be input number one. This will be master input number two. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of do a staggered input stream here. So we have like a little output ladder. Right. So yep, yep. So we're going to come up here. We'll just go in. that so there we go that's uh, a nice little stack and I think I already set water up to be exported so that works now let's see I need more so let's do some foundation work Probably get some more right there. This should let me get more. Oh wait, we got freaking iron in the way. Uh, let's see if we can't work around that. that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen oh my okay and we can probably get a couple on this side too so let's see how this is gonna work because I want to take this let's do this guy on this right here so then let's get our layout going we can probably get here to there to there let's go boom 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 six I think we can probably get a few more on a single track here let's see how that works Uh, almost a full load so I can probably get a cut like two more maybe and then let's get another power doohickey back here and then what I want to do is I'm gonna stick some more water towers over on this side Rotate these around. All right, let's just do that. And then we'll get our lines brought up here. So if we kind of do this, then we can take all of these, and just go into the main trunk.
after it auto saves. And then I want to add the remainder of these guys to this line as well. Let's kind of do a little staggered ladder approach here and that should give us a nice little chunk of water. Is this one not moving? Is it moving or is it just backed up? Okay, it's 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 going, okay. It's just we've got just about a full line on that one. Good. That's uh cranking away. Let's see how's our main power doing with the water. So it's filling up. All right, cool. Good, good. So that gives us a good start on the water production. And we got oil here. So let's also come back over here. Let's make sure we have, let's do copper, uh, local demand remote supply. I'm not gonna do much construction here. So we're gonna do iron. And then let's come over here. We're going to do coal. Let's do oil. And then we need to do silicone. Let's get silicone ore. There's no titanium. We got stone. Okay, and so the only thing left is the organic crystal, I think. So let's just grab that and then do local demand, remote supply. And then this world should be prime for the take-in. So all we gotta do is hook up all the the mining. We will have to set up a few oil processors and we might add some more water extraction where we add oil. But uh, let's see if we can't get some more of this mining done. Uh, so we got more oil here. Can we bring it back to that one? Eh. It's like, I don't know. I wish we had a kind of way with like the water and the oil to do like we do with the minerals where we have this remote process where it can just kind of ship everything. It's like, in my opinion, that's so much easier to deal with. But I get it, you know, you gotta have some logistical uh, fun. Okay, so let's get those up. up. And then let's just see, maybe I do, let's see, there's a couple oil seeps over here, so maybe I'll ship that one over here. One, two, three, and then let's get us a tower. And then let's go get us this oil seep right here. I think I'll bring it over there. Um, and then let's get this guy here. All right, so for this guy, I wonder if I should set him up with a, uh, like a chest. Well, they actually, they don't do hit chest. I can't do that. I have to take it to a tower. Dang it. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go this one to this tower over here.
Alright, that'll do that. Okay. There's that one. Let's come back over here. And let's hook this one up to there. Oops. Yeah, I know, it's getting all squirrely. But, you know, that's okay. Get us power. like the range on these guys. Definitely makes setting this stuff up a little easier. Man, there's so much oil on this planet. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, do one here, I guess. some oil there, rotate there, have it output that way, output that way, output this way, I'll set you up for oil, oops, I forgot to give it some drones, and let's see, is this going to be too close? Nope. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, let's get you some... Over here, and get you in. Get you in. Uh, we might actually be able to add some more water on this one. I could probably get some more water here because it doesn't like pull up very quickly. And it looks like our research is moving again finally. So let's, uh, like that. Our main, th main goal for coming here was water anyway. wired in. Let's make sure this is set to have water as well. And energy circuit. Megawatt powers. I guess that's for this fuel generation maybe? I guess. I don't know, I haven't really been paying attention to some of that stuff, so. Let's go there. Lots of water. Okay, so now 
And it's actually building up, which means that uh, our supply is caught up, at least in the main tower. So hopefully that means we'll be able to keep up with some of our demand. So we can always come back here and add more water later. Let's get this stone. Silicon. All right. Slow, tedious of gathering resources. I do like that, I mean, this is making getting some of these things put down so much easier. Alright, let's come back down here. Because we have more oil over this way. Alright, I gotta get some more materials. Okay. Well, I gotta get it out of my inventory anyway. Let's do this. I'm going to have this thing just feed in. Go boom and boom. Now let's grab a couple more of these out of our inventory. So that way this oil will feed into that process. And we can come in here and grab some iron. have any more oil seeps right here or is there just these two there's three okay so let's go ahead and set up another tower and then we'll get us our oil production rotate 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 and good get us some power Let's just get this stuff wired in. Get the set to oil. And I mean, we might not be doing a whole lot with oil yet. Um, I do need to get some plastic production set up for so we can make the particle broadband. Uh, so we can try to keep some of our other items under, uh, or make sure they're fully supplied. Since that is needed for, I think, the purple cube. So we want to make sure that we don't, you know, miss out. And, but to get plastic, we definitely need oil. So, I might not harvest every oil node here on this planet, but uh, I want to make sure we have at least oil present and accounted for. Um, the main thing I do want, though, is all the material resources like this, because we need it all. And let's see, do we have, we got three nodes here, that I totally missed. Let's get that, and then we can do that. And we can go there, and grab us some power. See if we can't get one hooked into the grid up here. 
All right, how many oil seeps are right here? We got two. If we got three, I'll do it. But two, I don't know. All right, auto save. All right, let's get uh, that good. That looks good. All right, that should get that one powered up. Um, I don't know if I've actually hit the organic crystal yet, um, but let's get some of these wired up. Planted here. All right, there's that one. That one, and then let's get that one. All this water everywhere. Okay, there's that, and let's get this coal. I definitely want all the coal I can get so I can set up some more blue proliferation networks. Oh wow, green belt. Uh, produce at least 43,000 universe matrixes per hour. Yeah, I want to get that cranking up higher. Do we have a higher one? Oh wow, we only have, we don't even have half of the, uh, Achievements, really? Gravity matrices, protection. So we need to get some of our stuff. Oh, there's our non warp transportation, so I can get faster. Exceed a sailing speed of 340 in the atmosphere. Oh, okay. Somehow I didn't do that, but okay. 16 different fuels. I still got six I haven't burned. Okay. Uh, yeah. Use fractionators to produce 100,000. Okay, that's, that'll probably get there just by nature if I got them running. 100 ray receivers. We'll get there. Well, we're definitely not to blue belt yet. 108,000 per hour. Yeah, I want to get there though. Yeah, so we got some things to do. Wow, what the heck? Seven kinds of rare veins. How have I not discovered all seven? I've got collection for all of them. Oh, wait. No, I think that's... Wait, no, I don't know. I don't know how that's being done. Okay. I can see my house from here. Get Icarus 40 meters above sea level without entering flight mode. Okay. Don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Sulfuric acid from plants. I mean, there's a bunch here. Uh, I did not realize. Uh, well, obviously, complete the game. Um, unlock all technologies. And unlimited technology. So that one I, I should have just here shortly. Uh, da, 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 da. Unlock upgrade to decrease the mineral mining consumption rate to less than 15%. So we're almost, we'll be getting there soon, I think. Wow. Whoa. Build a Dyson Sphere around a red giant star with power generation of 10 gigawatts. Build a star cluster with an energy storage capacity of two, 27 gigajoules or more. Reach total power generation of 50 gigawatts. So yeah, okay. Well, that's some that's some goals that we want to hit. That's for sure. Um, I wasn't even really paying attention to all those you know the goals that were there. But that kind of feeds into my build all the things, that's for sure. 
Okay, I'm gonna let me land here for a sec and go into planet mode and see what we have or are missing. Got all these nice power nodes floating in the air now. So there's an iron vein I can go hit. Um, did I get the organic crystal? I said there's organic crystal somewhere. Oh, no, there they are. They're out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, but they're like right over here. So let's go get these because we need these. And kaboom. And let's get you some power somehow. Go boom. Let's go boom. And then let's see. I, I got some power around here somewhere that I can connect to. Okay, there we go. Let's wrap it around and we can connect in. Boom. Connect it in. There we go. There, and I, you know, outside of that one iron vein, I think that's good enough. Got this planet all tooled up. Let's see, where was that iron vein? It was around here somewhere. Oh, there's a silica vein too. Let's go ahead and grab that while we're at it. Especially now that I know I need more of that, too. Oh, what's this one? Oh, look, we got the gravity matrix. 43 per hour, so... We're starting to get there. Getting there. That's the, the green one, I think. Awesome. All right, so... I said some of these we're getting close to having some of these just from the nature of what we're doing as we're going through. So yep, yep, I think we are looking good. So while we're doing that, let's come in here. Let's take a look at our Dyson Sphere. How are we doing? So we have. Uh, well, it looks like I missed a a spot here. So let's come in here and go kaboom and go boom. I missed one. Is there any more that I missed? It uh, doesn't look like it. It's got them there, so I need to fill in the rest of this guy. Uh, we're at 1.8 gigawatts, huh? And we're consuming nothing. So we need to also set up some ray receivers to start pulling some stuff down. Yes, we do. We need more. All right, so that gives me something else to do here. Let's, um, now that this planet is all squared away, let's come back in here to Adil 1. And let's head over here and we can go see what we gotta, see what we can do. And then, cause we can also, once we do that, we can look at, uh, get some ray receivers set up uh, although I might be out I might need to import some uh, and then we can finish off this Dyson sphere shell and then I can clone it and make another shell so we can get two shells going all right boom boom okay so now uh, yeah I forgot this planet just has limited production so we got those I can probably take a bunch of these out well now they're doing they're exporting so okay I'll leave them be wait one two one two three four five six one two three four five six okay so we are exporting everything good 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 um Oh, well, I got some of those there. Let's um, come in here. Let's do some ray receivers. Because that's empty. Um, we'll just do a, a small load. But demand is going to bring in a, a stack. 
Of course it is. Um, and then let's go see. Where's our uh, where's our setup down here? There we go. Here it is. All right, the rockets are idle. We're gonna fix that here shortly. Um, the sails are doing their thing, so we need to come. Let's see, where do we want to put this tower? I guess we could probably put it about right here. That should be fine, I think. So as we rotate around the planet, or star, whatever, once my brain starts working. Okay, so we're in night mode right now. Let's, oh, let's, um, are they here yet? They are. Okay, so let's go down back to zero. Let's take as many as we can, shove them there. Wow, only 200. All right, well, let's grab 50, and then we'll see what we can do. So we're going to set up a tower. So we have uh, an export. I'm going to set the tower up down here. And we're going to say give it this and just do this as exotic particles. And then now the fun part. Dyson Sphere Consumption. Alright, so these all go down to a, tra uh, a line. So let's just do... And what's our power like for this planet? Generation 26, consuming 7. Okay, so we should be fine. Uh, let's get a power node on this guy. So we can hook you in. And, alright, let's get you a little closer. There. You happy now? Okay, now. Array receivers. So, I want... this to be photon generation and we're gonna go out we'll do that that's okay now we just gotta get these hooked up Let's see how they do. All right, let's start here at the back. Yeah, that's 2.4 per minute, so. Exotic particles. All right, once we get these hooked up, we'll see how, um, how much power draw these things are grabbing off the sphere. Alright, so that's going to start filling in. We already got 91, 95, 98. Okay, cool. So let's see here. We got 2.42 per minute. Uh, requested power 60 out uh, of 67. So, so it looks like we're um, we're underpowered right now. So 
87% satisfaction requested 2 gigawatts generated 1.8 so the shells almost got enough to support this right here as it is which is great that is actually great news uh, let's come in come back up here let's set this up to uh, photons and we're gonna say local demand remote supply once it saves and with that I think we're in a good state so I think we are going to set here. I'm going to finish up this Dyson Sphere. I'm going to finish since it, uh, we got the rest of the degrees unlocked here. Um, so that way it'll it'll pop it out. And I'll, I'm going to stick a second shell on it. So it's going to generate even more power. Um, and then that might tell me that I might need to add another stack of 30 of these. Because it's needing 2 gigawatts. So we can see how much we can get out of a Dyson Sphere. Since we're going to be in the system for a little while. So uh, I know we did a lot of resource gathering today and uh, just trying to get some more infrastructure set up so we can build more things. Uh, we do have another planet we can go set up on, but uh, I think we're getting close to the point where we can look at potentially making an antimatter uh, fuel rod here. So which means we need to make this uh, annihilation sphere, which means we're going to need to build some more stuff here because we need this pink yeah, the par uh, pink particle container and some other stuff so there's more things that we need to do to get some optimization going and start getting us into the antimatter world as well as fueling all of our fun stuff for our research cubes so we can get them going even faster and faster and faster so if you like Dyson Sphere program remember like comment subscribe all that good stuff and we'll come back next time so thanks for watching and good night